This video shows you how to set up the take-up reel on the HP Latex 300 printer series. The take-up reel is not included in the box with the Latex 310 printer, but it can be bought separately as an accessory. At the printer's front panel, select the substrate icon, then select take-up reel. If you need assistance, instructions are displayed on the screen. Slide your finger laterally across the front panel to follow the instructions to the end. The following steps assume that you have decided to load immediately. If you decide to load later, during printing, press Enable Now and complete the same operations described in this video. For easier access to the take-up reel, lift the loading table into its upright position. Unlock the take-up reel by pushing its lever to the uppermost position. Remove the take-up spindle and leave it on the floor. Lift the lever at each stop to remove them from the take-up reel. They will not be used. Load the core onto the take-up spindle. The core should be at least as wide as the substrate. Load the take-up reel into the printer by pushing firmly on both ends. Advance the substrate by pressing the Move Substrate button on the front panel. Make sure that the substrate passes in front of the loading table. This operation is not needed if you are loading the take-up reel while printing. Adjust the position of the core on the take-up spindle so that it is aligned with the substrate. Tape the leading edge of the substrate to the core, first in the center, then at each side. Make sure that the substrate is straight. Press the button on the front panel to advance the substrate, creating a loop. Press the blue arrow on the take-up reel motor to rotate the reel one full turn. This will help to support the weight of the tension bar. Remove the tension bar from the parking position and leave it on the floor. Press the button on the front panel to advance the substrate a little again. Stop advancing before the substrate touches the floor. Gently lower the loading table. This will help to avoid wrinkles and improve winding. Carefully insert the tension bar. This is essential. The take-up reel will not function correctly without it. Fit the tension bar into the supports at both ends. Use the winding direction switch on the take-up reel motor to select the winding direction. Setting 1 winds the substrate so that the printed image faces in. Setting 2 winds the substrate so that the printed image faces out. Tap the enable button on the front panel to finish the load process. If you have a Latex 360 printer, it advances and calibrates the substrate. This is how the take-up reel works while the printer is printing. At the printer's front panel, select the substrate icon. Then select Take-up Reel. Switch the winding direction switch to the off position. The switch is in the off position when it is in the center position. In other words, when the switch is neither in position 1 nor position 2. For easier access to the Take-up Reel, lift the loading table into its upright position. To remove the tension bar, first lift the support, then press the lever. Remove the tension bar. Use the winding button on the take-up reel motor to wind the excess substrate around the take-up reel. Cut the substrate using scissors. Advance the substrate if needed. While holding the substrate with one hand, use the winding button on the take-up reel motor to wind the remainder of the substrate around the take-up reel. Unlock the take-up reel by pushing its lever to the uppermost position. Remove the take-up spindle. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel.